Welcome back. I still sound like a freaking seal. It has been six days since I lost my voice. Sorry, Aslan was going bananas. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I still like, it's been almost a week. I don't think I've ever lost, lost my voice for this long and I just don't know what's going on. Like it's actually insane. <clears throat> Anyway, we have Eslin's 18 month checkup today. So I just went ahead and came to this side of town. It's not until 11 and it's 9.30, but there's like shops and stuff over here. So I'm just gonna do some Christmas shopping to kill some time. And then I gotta freaking go grocery shopping after her appointment. Why are you pressing all these buttons, girl? Look, say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm off until Sunday. So we were gonna do St. Augustine this weekend um, because we really like to go there like during the winter time for like their lights and stuff. But we, oh my God, Eslyn, no, you can't touch that. We have decided to just stay local because A, there's so many things to do like right here in Central Florida that it's like, and we've been so freaking busy lately. It's like everything is nonstop. So we're just gonna stay local this year. No winter trip. This is the first year ever that we're not like going anywhere for winter. Marvin and I are going to New York next month, just the two of us, but um, like as a fa we usually do like a family winter trip every year. And it's just like this year has been actual chaos. So we just don't have time. Especially now that it's like so much to juggle now that I like decided to go back to work because then it's like my work schedule and whatever. I mean, I don't work a lot, but it's still just like, you know. But um, yeah, I still got to shop for my mom. I still got to shop. I only got Marvin, I think like one thing so far. I still got to shop for Marvin. I got to shop for his parents. I got to shop, you know, like I got to get like stocking stuffers and stuff for the girls. I haven't bought Eslin anything. But, most of the girls are done or like mostly done like their big items are done but I'm just trying to stay on top of crop this year because it's like already December set like Christmas is less than 20 days away so I'm just like ugh, over it can you stop push pressing buttons all right I'm gonna take this child inside the store we'll do a little Christmas shopping say welcome back Who's that cute baby? You want a chair? She wants a chair. All right, we're just leaving her checkup. Everything is good. She's growing and glowing and all things great. So no worries there. Um, I was going to go to the mall because it's right across the street. But the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't really think there's anything that I need there. Um, so I'll probably just go to Walmart to like grocery shop. And then there's stuff that I do need to get at Walmart that I could get as like presents and stuff for the house, etc. So I think like going to the mall right now would just like be a waste of my time. So, we're just gonna leave. Um, I gotta go pick up my prescription before I forget, and then we'll go to Walmart. And then, I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see what time it is when all of that is done. Dave doesn't get done with tutoring until 4.30. Then she's gotta be back at school for 5.30 because her chorus concert is tonight. I have a few friends that are in town, so I'm trying to like juggle like when to see them or if I'll be able to see them whatever and then yeah just a busy day all right we're finally home <clears throat> oh my god I cannot with this voice I sound like I smoke like 12 packs of cigarettes a day like this is ridiculous Anyway, um, yeah, Eslin fell asleep 
on my way to Walmart. And so I took her out thinking it would wake her up, put her in the car, and she literally just like zonked out. And so everybody walking through the store was like laughing, looking at us. I was like, whatever. And then Marvin met, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Marvin met us there on his lunch break so he could do some Christmas shopping too because like it's not very often that we get to like do anything without all the girls, like especially something like Christmas shopping. So yeah, finally home. I haven't eaten yet today and it's like almost two o'clock, I'm starving. So Marvin cooked dinner last night because I was at work. I'm heating up some leftovers. I gotta put all this crap away. There's so much crap. I gotta put all this crap away. And then Marvin actually gets off early today. I didn't know that. So he'll pick up the girls for me. So I don't have to leave again. I'm like pumped. That made my whole day. It's not like they're far, but it's just the act of like getting home and then like having to leave again. And then we're gonna have to leave again anyway because of Dave's chorus concert. So it's like, I'm tired of leaving my house like four times a day. I just wanna like chill and I'm hungry. So yeah, me and Eslin are gonna chill, put all this crap away and get something to eat. I think she's gonna sit up front. Am I taking my truck? That's what you said. I said I will just ride, but that's okay. So we just dropped Dave off to do like her little rehearsal for 30 minutes before the show starts. So we were trying to take the babies to play at this playground to kill the 30 minutes because they have a lot of energy, but it's locked. So now we'll just hang out for another 25 minutes and then go watch Dave's concert. And then Marvin has like this work event that he's gotta go to afterwards. So I'll just take me and the kids home. Friday. It's officially been a week since I lost my voice and I guess it's just decided that it's never coming back. So this is where this is where I'm at now. Y'all are just gonna have to we're all gonna have to live with this I guess. Anyway, um after Dave's chorus concert last night we went home. We were having dinner, Dave kept complaining like, oh, my head hurts. And I'm like, okay, well, you didn't bring any water to school today. It was a long day because she was at tutoring until 4.30 and then she had to be back at school at 5.30 for the concert. And I'm like, you're probably just hungry, tired, whatever. Just eat something, drink something. You should feel better. And she's like, that's not gonna help. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So then she went to bed which is not like her. If you know, you know, Dave never just goes to bed. So I was like, okay. And I had plans because I said I had a couple friends in town. I was supposed to go out and meet up with one of them. And I was like looking forward to it. I was like, sweet. And then I went to go kiss her good night and she was burning up. So I was like, oh, never mind. I'm not going anywhere. 
so yeah anyway cut to today obviously i didn't send her to school because she had a fever last night but she still has a fever today she's not feeling well really her only symptom is like a headache and the fever so yeah anyway i just stepped out real quick to pick up zenova and then marvin and i were supposed to go he was supposed to have this like well he does have this like work dinner but he's like irritated because he went all out of his way to find this reservation for everybody and he had to go to like a bunch of different places because it was last minute a lot of places couldn't like fit the amount of people that they needed la 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 whatever so he finds a reservation at bonefish it's for tonight and i'm like sweet and then he gets to work today and one of the girls is like oh no i have a connection at pop stroke so we're just gonna go there and he's like i just did all this work whatever and like pop stroke is fun I vlog, we were there one time and I vlogged it, but the food is disgusting. It's just like cafeteria food and it's really expensive for like disgusting food. And I was like, babe, I'm not going, like we can go to Pop Stroke to like hang out afterwards or whatever. I was like, I'm not eating there. Like, and I'm not a picky eater, but like, I'm not going to go eat my dinner there. Like, ew. So whatever, he was like, yeah, he's like, I already told them like, forget it. I'm still going to go to Bonefish. So we're just going to take you know the kids and go to bonefish we gotta go shopping anyway hazel has like a birthday party this weekend and whatever but yeah so that's what we're supposed to be doing tonight but i don't know we gotta figure something out with dave so to be to be continued but let me i'm gonna go inside and get to nova Get the smoky effect. Oh, true, true. Because it's smoky. Better be good. Yeah, I like it. Nice and smoky. Mm -hmm. It's kind of. So we just finished dinner at Bonefish, and we're gonna meet Marvin's coworkers here at Pop Stroke just for a little bit, and then I gotta take Hazel to get. A birthday present for the birthday party she's going to this weekend. favorite Christmassy spot since we're not gonna go to St. Augustine this year. Um, happy Saturday. Um, chaos as usual in this house. I just got my new name necklace in the mail. I ordered one in gold. So, just came right now before I left. So I ran to the mailbox real quick. Which was perfect because I was already wearing gold. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go. It's at, it's in Lake Nona. We go every year. I don't know, pe do we peppermint the penguin? Yes. Okay, hopefully peppermint the penguin will be there. We'll see. But yeah, we've just been 
doing stuff around the house and being lazy all day so far. We're finally getting out of the house now. dropped the family off after we went to Lake Nona and she has some stuff that she wants to get for the birthday party tomorrow. She wants to like make a shirt or something. So we're at Joanne's and then we got to stop at the grocery store too. Happy Sunday. Uh, I gotta work at four. I'm just dropping Dave off at her friend's house and I'm bringing Hazel to her friend's house for a birthday party. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna drop Dave off now and then I gotta pick up my coffee real quick and then I'll take, cause Hazel's friend lives all the way downtown. So I gotta drive all the way downtown and then all the way back home and then drive all the way back downtown for work again. I love that. So, even on the weekends, I feel like I can't escape making that drive. We need to just move downtown, I guess. That's, I mean, we're just down there so often. All right. You going to your friend's house? Yeah. You're going to be good? You're going to have fun? Yeah. All right. Uh, Dave just came back from her friend's house. I'm going to leave for work. As always, Marvin's like, babe, just call off. And I'm like, no. <laughs> because after tonight, I'm off until Friday. <clears throat> My voice is coming back a little bit. It's not 100%, but it's, I guess, not as bad as it was, but it still sounds funky. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to work tonight. I don't know. I don't know how busy we're going to be. I think it was busy yesterday. Um, and then we'll see. Hazel's going to be at this birthday party until a little later. So we haven't figured out like the get her back situation yet. I told her, you know, I'd just be in touch with her mom. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to work, hopefully make some Monday because then I'm off until Friday. And then next weekend is busy because I work all weekend. Um, Hazel has her 
guitar concert on Thursday. I work Friday night. I work Saturday morning, and then we're having our Christmas party Saturday night, and then I work Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, but I'll have like five days off, so hopefully I can get some stuff done. Hopefully I can freaking go to Pilates. It's been over a week. It'll be tomorrow. Will be two weeks since I've been to freaking Pilates, so I'm really gonna try to go. It's just so many things just keep like popping up last minute or happening, and then even when I do get to go, Eslyn like cries, so they make me come and get her. It's been a mess, so keep your fingers crossed y'all that I can like actually do a full Pilates class tomorrow and then I have a bunch of errands to run I gotta get specific things done this week before Christmas break so and time is just flying but anyway I'm gonna go pick up some food and go to work